Welcome back, sports fans. Yes, today, again, guys, I apologize for the time frame. That will be the difference uh, between these videos here. Uh, the World Series is going on, so I wanted to take the time to be able to watch that, of course, with the family, and uh, it has been a great one. So what I'll be doing is actually splitting these matches up into basically two videos, right? so that I can have content over a couple days, and that way you guys can enjoy them, um, kind of uh, in quick digestible videos, of course. Um, that way you guys can get a full experience, kind of, of a match by match, and have content, kind of, as you go. Now, it's good to know, guys, today we're actually going to be finishing up um, the fourth match here, guys, for this um, great World Series brawl. Yes, it will be very exciting here, guys, as we are in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, you can probably hear uh, the chants and the crowds out back in Cleveland and or wherever the game might be. But today is going to be Lou Cool, who has set up a grudge match that is a cage object match between Hillary Marr, all that glitters his foe. Now, it is weird that a uh, you know male wrestler would fight a female wrestler um so we'll see what happens but there is of course that that, that element of surprise this of course as most wrestlers know these were kind of staged matches here and we want to see how they'll actually turn out so let's see what happens here guys as Lou cool triple a rating goes up against all that glitters as there's that bitter rivalry between them you never know they might fight themselves through to a friendship um, but um if you guys don't notice here but in the faux category category something that i've been working on uh, at least with my uh, playthroughs uh, and my leagues here, is that um, I've noticed that a lot of times your wrestlers will be the foe. Or like, for instance, Luke Cool is the foe of all the glitters and vice versa. What I've devised uh, in, in this kind of idea is you take the lowest TV grades. So the uh, wrestlers with the lowest TV grade, they go into the foe categories. That way you guys can you know continually have the worst of the worst or the people who hate the most, but also it creates that that guess you could say that possibility for aggressiveness, right? That you know, aggression between those two bad wrestlers. So just want to kind of give a kind of an idea for you guys there so you guys can enjoy that. So, well, let's get the match started. The two wrestlers are down there. Let's get the pre-match going. Let's check it out, as of course, face to the mat. All right, let's do the, uh, the inaugural flip there. Okay, so it's gonna be five, which is gonna go to highlight reel R. Okay, R looks good here. Okay, 44, I think it's gonna push us over to another one. Yep, highlight reel S. Usually those doubles push you over to that section there. 66, <laughs> well, the face is gonna be all that glitters, of course, as we can see here. So it says here, the face and choice wrestler conspire against heel. If face wins, heel loses all grudge grade points, which is 11, he's up there already. So let's see who the choice wrestler will be. Is actually gonna be her, um, her ally, I guess you could say, is Z, uh, George Luis Zapata. So that's pretty cool. So um, between them, they're kind of conspiring here to see if they can kind of get back at him a little bit here and uh, try to spark up some action here. So always good to notate that in your uh, book there. But then, of course, to make sure she knows that uh, if by chance she wins, she's going to be definitely heralded as a great winner here, uh, not just for wrestling, but also for the female wrestlers in the league, kind of show them that they can also fight because you never know if Luke cool loses he's gonna lose all of his grudge grade because he's gonna lose to a girl right no 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 excuses here you know you're the the heavyweight champion of the world right and uh well you can't go on a grudge grade you can't throw a match challenge out and uh lose to someone that you do so let's find out what happens here guys as the match starts up all right let's shuffle up the cards here guys Let's get this going here for our first match here, yeah, or I guess you say our fourth match here, and I'm going to definitely split these up videos up into kind of two videos so you guys can kind of watch them there. I do notice that a lot of people, at least the majority of people, um, they kind of digest my videos, which is great, in nine-minute segments. So um, nine minutes is usually kind of how long one match can take really um, if you think about it so um, I think what I could do is to kind of see how you guys like it um, please let me know absolutely I want to hear in your guys comments if you like the idea of kind of breaking up the matches into kind of one minute segments here or one one video segments and then kind of letting you guys watch them when you please um, but nonetheless we're gonna get this going here and get you guys to watch here as all that glitters takes on Luke cool in a cage match yes that's pretty exciting here Okay, so we have everything set up here. So if, in case you guys don't remember, 
the cage match, the first person to get to the square here gets to an object in the ring. Uh, and so for this one, it's actually going to be the title belt because the title belt is always going to be hanging from the rafters here in the cage match. And then if we ever have to use a cage or like a wild card, we actually go to the cage match. Um, uh, we use that as the opportunity to kind of review it. So good to note there. Let's get it going here. So the first one here, cheat. Well, it looks like it's Luke Cool and Helvic Glitters are both cheaters, um, but that's not going to happen here um, for either of them because uh, they don't have it. So neither of them have it because they're both on circles. Smart. Okay, Smart looks like it's going to be all that glitters there. She escapes a headlock by Lou Cool and delivers a surprise body blow. That's two points there, one and two. So starting off strong here is um, Hillary Marr. Favorite. Favorite is here. Let's look. So favorite's not anybody here, but it's going to be Hillary Marr because, of course, she's a favorite one. That's how I play it, so hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs> she drop kicked the opponent into rope, so a double drop kick for two points, one and two. She is so close to getting that belt and uh, utilizing it for X amount of points. Object. Well, neither of them have the object here, so uh, I'm just going to say, you know, no one has the object just yet. So let's see here. Quick. So quick is going to be Hillary Marr as a starting off blows here. So that's two points as she clobbers the opponent with a double knee lift. Or Yeah, one, two. So that's going to get it right to the first X there. So as he says right here, object placed in center of ring. First wrestler to reach square space gets to use it. Moves ahead. Dice amounts of points. That's five. Wow. So she slams Lou Cool with the, in the head with his own belt. One, two, three, four, five. She might go as the first wrestler to beat another wrestler without even taking points. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. The crowd is going wild here. Specialty. Well, unfortunately, because both of them do have specialty, for Hillary Marr's sake at least, it's going to go over to uh, Lou Cool as he gets up and then performs his specialty, which is pure luck. Events happen in a ring to benefit him, her opponent. How many points? Four. One, two, three, four. So he definitely gets the uh, title belt back and slacks her across the head there. And that's going to be a, definitely a specialty move there for him, getting the lucky of the draw. Never tell him the odds, as they say. Okay. Powerful. Powerful. Looks like it's both of them. So that's going to go to Lou Cool here as he's the lower one here. So Wrestler tosses opponent across the ring. And uh, that is absolutely terrifying for Hillary Marr as the cage only rattles even louder as the chants get louder for the people's champion, Lou Cool. Cheat. We have two cheats here, so two squares, unfortunately. It's going to be Luke Cool again. Three points as she he delivers painful in the highly illegal hold on opponent as he grizzles her face against the, uh, the, the I guess you'd say the, the chain mail or the chain link. There you go. Chain link fence there for one, two, and three points there, guys. Wow, we. Okay, and grudge. Well, the grudge is absolutely going to go to Luke Cool as... The crowd is just starting to boo a little bit here as the contender continually starts to get rattled here by the title belt holder. So one, two, and three points. One, two, and three for a gold repertoire move. Man, he is telling you not to give him the odds here as he flies down with the uh, luck of the draw uh, elbow. So smart. Well, that's going to be over to Hillary Marr here as she avoids opponent's elbow smash. What a point there, huh? So she avoids it there and clotheslines opponent. So that's going to be one point. And Lou Cool is going to have to try and see if he can get, roll a 43 or less to get out of this pin. That's one. That's 66. That's one. 21. That's two. Okay, so he gets out of there just fine. No problems at all. Uh, definitely doesn't have any problems here. Mean. Neither of them are mean. Let's keep it going, guys, as, of course, the fans are getting wild here. Favorite. Well, that's going to be neither of them, but Hillary Marr is the favorite wrestler. So, for uses specialty move. Okay, so she's going to use her specialty move as she adjusts, adjusts jewelry while while associate disables opponent four points well that's going to move her to the finisher mark and so yes while Luke cool is on the ground here she adjusts the jewelry while his eyes are eyes are getting gouged there um by uh his, her compadre z or i guess you could say zed i suppose i'm not really sure how he wants to pronounce it there but Zed uh, gouges uh, Luke Cool's eyes from inside the metal grating. Let's see what happens on our finisher move here. Possibilities. She has to roll 35 or less. 
And she rolls a 16, folks. That is it. Credit card swipe move. This is phenomenal, folks. Absolutely unheard of. Wow, we folks. So the winner actually is a Hillary Mar. All that glitters off of a finisher. The credit card swipe move. Yikes. You never want to see that happen to a great wrestler. Now I'm going to, of course, change this here uh, so I can get the uh, TV grade as it moves up to a B here for Hillary uh, Mar. And of course, as of course the pre match routine said he lost so he actually lost all of his grudge grade so he went down to a, a zero but he's still at a double a tv grade now folks the commissioner is out okay he has decided we want to see what happens in the pre the post match here before he does anything so he gets his interview so we're going to a six so a six says if face wins good uh, highlight real t let's check that out okay highlight real t says to us here 32, 32 says, face win results and new alliance between face and and choice wrestler wow okay so guys i can't tell you this but uh well i can't can't believe i'm telling you this but because of the fact that she won right she won and beat luke cool they formed a bond. Yes, this is absolutely phenomenal. I can't believe that the highlight reel showed off exactly what I was going to try to do here. Folks, Hillary Marr has actually now vetted for, or I should say, is uh, petitioned to the commissioner to allow Lou Cool to keep his uh, belt here, guys, to keep his belt, but that she gets her uh, women's championship belt uh, of the world here, and she becomes the first female uh, champion of the world here um, after beating... Uh, Lou Cool. Now you guys might have noticed that in other previous uh, events that there was a uh, you know kind of a championship belt between Vomitria and Jennifer Lane. Now the commissioner has decided that that can't happen. Um, that Hillary Marge just can't just win the belt because she beat the the men's champion. So she's going to go up against uh, Vomitria, who I believe is the title belt holder for the female uh, wrestlers here. So fantastic opportunity here, guys, for her in the next event. Um, possibilities are endless here for Hillary Marr as she climbs the ropes here. And of course, no pun intended, as she beats Lou Cool in the cage match object. So now, Lou Cool and all that glitters are now uh, together as a as allies, I guess you say. I'm not an allies, but in kind of a gang uh, for, I guess you could say, the uh, the luck. I guess you could say the luck of the Irish, suppose you could say. So we're going to see how that forms up here as another gang has started between Lou Cool, All That Glitters, and Michelle O'Malley. Lucky ones there. And maybe George Luis Zapata can join in here as a fantastic match here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And this will be the end of this video, guys. Now, I will upload a video right after this one as well um, with the next fight that will be between um, Sam Banner and Rich Rumble. Stay tuned, guys. Very exciting time for us.